the planet Cronus. Beset on all sides by the tides of war, this once quiet colony became a savage battlefield. Seven armies clashed on this one world, each refusing to back down, each convinced it was in the right. From beneath the sands of Cronus' central desert came the Necrons, ancient machines bent on eradicating all life. But another evil already had its eyes on the planet. From the depths of the warp, the demonic forces of chaos arrived to enforce their claim. To oppose these fearsome powers, the planet's rulers in the Tau Empire sent their elite soldiers and sophisticated battle suits into the fray. From the mighty Imperium of Man came the Imperial Guard, there to secure Cronus for the glory of the God Emperor. Like a green tide, the Orc Horde descended on Cronus, caring little for others' claims and sowing destruction in its wake. The Eldar, Ancient enemies of the Necrons emerged from their webway to pursue their own agenda on Cronus. And last came the Space Marines, finest and most uncompromising of the Imperium soldiers. Seeing a world beset by aliens and heretics, they undertook a great purge. A dark crusade had begun. It could only end with the total victory of one of these factions and the total defeat of all others. The Necrons had lain buried in the sands of Cronus for eons, having retreated there at the end of a great war only hinted at in the histories of ancient races like the Eldar. Long before man even stood upright, the Necrons and their dark gods had retreated to their tomb worlds. But their slumber was not eternal. Eventually their genocidal deities awoke them again driving them to purge the life that had spread across the galaxy during their sleep. On Cronus, this awakening came when an archaeological team opened a mysterious crypt on the arid Thor Abyss Plateau. Most of the team died, but expedition leader Thomas Maccabee somehow became one of the mysterious Necron pariahs. Seemingly retaining a hint of his personality, he occasionally spoke for the Silent Army as it advanced. The Necron Lord of Cronus, the most ancient and powerful of the deathless creatures on the planet, promptly launched a campaign of extermination. His loathsome god, the Nightbringer, hungered for the deaths of all those on Cronus. Welcome to the single-player campaign for Dawn of War, Dark Crusade.
Yeah, yeah, yeah. 